Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Franklin and today I'm going to show you guys a little, something a little bit different. Um, a lot of people have been wondering about how they can uh, <laughs> save some time in regards to getting Pokemon. Uh, this actually can apply for the Nintendo 3DS and the Switch. All you have to do is prior to downloading Pika Hex, you need to have custom firmware. I can't really show you how to get custom firmware on either console. But I do have a very uh, interesting tutorial that I used for the 3DS and it will be in the description. I There is another tutorial I used on the Switch, but apparently YouTube has been shutting down a lot of uh, videos in regards to that. So I unfortunately, I can't show you the Switch version. But anyways, you might be wondering, well, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell is a PK Hex? So PK Hex is basically uh, generating Pokemon and you just inject them into your game. And so the website here, I use is projectpokemon.org. All you gotta do is just type PK Hex for 3DS and it should be the first result on Google. And once you do, uh, you're gonna look at this entire website. You can see about this file, what kind of file it, it takes care of, um, individual Pokemon, GameCube memory cards, if you guys are really that crazy about it. And every time there's a new version, uh, it tells you uh, what did they update. And this is the latest version and this is the latest version I will be using for this tutorial so download the file here if you want to uh, you're gonna download just the zip you don't need to do this mono thing it's whatever and you're gonna notice the numbers here are based on the date that it's been updated so once you do that you download it uh, it's gonna come out into your sorry about that I'm gonna go into the downloads here and you're going to PK hex here and like I said, you have to have custom firmware in order for this to work. And you need to extract the save file. And that save file needs to be in your SD card. And you have to put it into your PC or laptop. And this only works for Windows, by the way. So if you don't have a Windows, I'm sorry. I had a Mac for years. I know your struggle. I know it. But anyways, once you download PK Hex, you have these three um, items here. PK Hex can only be activated if this file and this file are together. They have to be together. So you can't just drag your icon or the application out into the desktop. It's not going to work. So once you have your save file extracted from your 3DS and it's injected into your PC and your PC recognizes it, what you're going to do now is you're going to activate PK Hex. And like I said, you have to have custom firmware for this to work. If you don't know how to get it, I would suggest looking at the tutorial. And I do have the tutorial for 3DS. So anyways, uh, now you notice that the game recognizes, or not the game, but your laptop recognizes the save file and you notice this is exactly all the Pokemon that I have here. And these are not actually not from PKX. The majority of them actually come from PowerSafe because I used PowerSafe as a primary tool back in the day. Um, but you can see I have a whole bunch load of Pokemon and a lot of them are not legal because look, you see the little icon that has the red exclamation mark? That means there's something wrong with the Pokemon. So for example, if I was able to drag this Clefable out here, and I click on the little icon, it says like, you know, OT name too long, invalid ribbons, can I have ball for encounter time? So basically it's a legality check. You can still use this Pokemon in battle since apparently the seventh generation legality check has been pretty soft uh, based on what I've heard. And so, you can still use these Pokemon, it's not that bad. Um, but basically, I'm gonna show you how you can generate a specific Pokemon. Let's say, now there's two ways you can generate a Pokemon. And what I mean by these two ways is that you can either update them or just create a brand new Pokemon. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go to a, first I'm gonna show the method of how to make a Pokemon that already exists and make them better, update them. So let's say I got the Cyndaquil right here. So I'm gonna drag the Cyndaquil. I'm gonna put it all the way over here. And this is basically like your, you know, your repair shop here. And you're gonna change this Pokemon. So, you can change the species of this of this Pokemon completely. So you can make a brand new Pokemon out of it. You can nickname it if you want to. You can make it shiny. So, let's start with the basics. Let's start from top. So, you can make it shiny by clicking this button right here. And your PID will definitely change because obviously a shiny will change the identity, personal ID of a Pokemon. You can re-roll just because you want to. And you can change the gender here just by clicking the, the gender sign here from female to male. You can nickname it whatever you want to. 
Uh, EXP, you shouldn't change it because let's say you want a level 50 Cyndaquil. So if I change level 50 here, the EXP automatically changes, which is pretty cool. Say you want to change the natures, they have all the natures here as well. So you can just put Timid or something, and there you go. What kind of hold item? It can hold anything as long as it's legal within the game, and it will tell you if it's illegal because um, it will give you a legality check error. So let's say I want to give it choice specs, right? So I'm going to give it the choice specs. Friendship. Um, you can change friendship if you want. If you are a person who's really keen on return and frustration, you can obviously change that to your specific liking. 255 is the max. Abilities, you can have uh, different types of abilities as well. Now, the thing is with the hidden abilities is that you, most of the time they have to be bred in game. So like, what I like to do is breed my Pokemon first. And then once they do, the game will recognize it as, an, as a Pokemon bred from an egg. And now you can use uh, hidden abilities. So they're, they're telling you now, it's legal now because they bred it. Um, you can say it's in an egg which is crazy. Infected, infected means that's the, the Poke Rust here. Cured means, yeah, you know what, um, it had Poke Rust, but it been cured. It can't spread, so you can change that as well. I personally don't do it because there's no point. Country, you can change where it was, where it came from, United States, French, France, China, Korea, Spain, all that good stuff. Subregion, uh, you know, you can say California, whatever, but I don't think usually they don't mess with that. And in 3DS region, you can change it to wherever you want. I have America, so I am from North America, South America. All right, next up, you can change where you met this Pokemon at. This Pokemon came from Sun. You can change it to almost every single game as long as it's legal. Um, mine was met at the Pananoma Ranch um, because that's where the daycare center is at. You can change the location as well, as long as it's legal, because since it was been bred, you can change it to almost any place inside. Uh, you can change the ball as well, as long as it's legal. Obviously, it can't be in a master ball, but it can't be any of the safari balls, because it basically can't. I know there's some Pokemon that you can't have the specific balls, so just be careful. Like, Cherish Ball, that's impossible, you know. So I did get mine in the actual Premier Ball, so I'm going to leave it like that. Met level. It's an egg Pokemon, so I... Or bred from an egg, so obviously it's gonna be met at level one. You can change the date as well. Now, faithful encounter is usually for mystery gift and event Pokemon, so I would just not check that. And you can see here it was met as an egg, and then tells you where did you meet this egg? Nursery helpers from Pokemon Sun. What date? Uh, it comes from the first of January 9th, so two years ago. <laughs> so now you can change the stats of the Pokemon as well. You can see the base stats, uh, and you can see the IVs, and you can't really change base because those are locked based on the Pokemon species. Um, you can change the IVs, which are the individual values, and the effort values are basically from all the battles that it goes through. So it has zero. So let's say you want a really competitive Cyndaquil. <laughs> uh, you can change the IVs into basically like 31, which is the max. Maybe you don't want any attack IV, so zero. Then you want defense at 31, 31, 31, and 31 for the rest of the stats. Now, you want a max special attack and max speed? No worries, you can do that. 255, or 252, I should say, and 252 are the max it can have. And then you can insert six more EVs, and you have boom, you got a max special attack, max speed syndical. You can change it in power based on um, these numbers here. If you want to change it, like say you want to have it run HP Electric or those pesky water types, and now the EVs or IVs will change. So in the game, you can actually bottle cap these, and you can have your max stats, whatever you want. And so you can randomize IVs, randomize EVs. This is usually to pass legality checks for some event Pokemon. Uh, contest stats, I am still leave this alone because there technically are no contests in um, seventh generation, only in sixth generation. Uh, next up, we have our attacks. So you can technically change the attacks of these Pokemon, but as long as, for example, let's say Eruption is an egg move here, you kind of have to have it right here as an egg move as well, or it can't because it's not an egg move. So it's gonna tell you, as an example, like, hey, you, this, this can't learn uh, this attack because it's not an egg move. So I'm just gonna put tackle for now. 
And when you have egg moves here, let's say, I think, I believe extra sensory is one of them. So you see how extra sensory is telling the legality checker, it's like, hey, wait, 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 something's wrong, man. It has to, it's an egg move. Gotta relearn it. No worries, you just put it here and relearn moves. And voila, you solved it. You gave your Pokemon an egg type move. <laughs> you can change the, the PP of the freaking moves. Three, 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 and voila. You don't have to worry about PP maxes. You don't have to use PP ups or maxes anymore. Uh, last but not least on the main section are the OT, original trainer and miscellaneous stuff. So you can have the SID. And this is actually pretty cool, depending on whether uh, what kind of numbers you need to get shinies. You can find out the original trainers, um, OT, change their gender. And the latest, who is you, is going to be me, and I am who I am. Uh, you can change the markings as well. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people can just want to do this because, you know, just for fun. They want to mark what kind of uh, Pokemon this is. Usually they do it for max IVs. We have ribbons as well. You can insert a bunch of ribbons here, although I wouldn't recommend doing that since most likely um, this is came from Pokemon Sun. So you don't have to really input like... Or you can't really input ribbons from like 6th generation because that's like impossible. Next up we have our medals. And medals is basically on the super training and all that stuff. Uh, I wouldn't deal with that since, you're, again, the Pokemon came from 7th generation, not 6th. Next up we have is memories. So a lot of people have been wondering like, what the hell are memories? Like, I don't remember this being used in Pokemon. Well, actually, there's only two instances where Pokemon memories and feelings take place. Uh, in 6th generation, in X and Y, there's a girl in Anistar City, I believe. I forgot her name. Uh, she actually tells you about the experience of a certain Pokemon with the original trainer and you. And this is where the memory comes from. So there's a bunch load of memories. It tells you about a Pokemon's uh, experiences throughout the game. And it can only be used in 6th generation, I believe. Uh, same thing with memories with not the trainer, which is you. And it says the Pokemon seems to have good memory. And, but it doesn't seem to be able to remember. So this is tells you like the pretty much the dialogue box. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, that girl I believe is in Lily Cove City. Um, this doesn't really mess up your legality. Like if you change this, it's still you can still use the Pokemon in battle. But again, I wouldn't really touch this unless something is completely wrong with it. But um, yeah. So that's pretty much all it is to just updating a Pokemon in. And then once you're done, all you gotta do is just drag this and drag it into your box. And voila, it's in your box. And so that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a brand new Pokemon. So there are a couple ways you can make a new Pokemon. Uh, there is an actual showdown way where you can import a a clipboard of the actual showdown sets. You can do that. It works completely fine. I can't do it right now because, um, actually, you know what? I'll show you guys. So I'm going to go into my own Pokemon showdown and I'm going to go into my team builder. I'm going to pick a random Pokemon here. I'm going to go into, let's say, let's say I want this Volk, right? I'm going to get the Volk here. I'm going to copy this set. And once I go into PKX, I'm going to showdown, import from clipboard, and then ask you, oh, do you want to import the set? And I'm going to say yes. And voila, I just made a brand new Pokemon out of air, out of thin air. <laughs> um, it has like all the stats that I want. Perfect, perfect. And you can see that this has been uh, I, uh, hyper trained so it can cover the, the stat spread. And once that's, that's it. It's done, you're done, you just wanna drag it there. Booyah, that's it, woo! Awesome, you just made a brand new Pokemon out of nowhere. So there's also other stuff that PK Hex can also deal with. So trainer info, uh, who you are, your gender, how much money you got, how many racks, adventure time, game started, hall of fame enter, last save, you can change all the sleep steps taken, woo! Battle points, Fest festival plaza coins, Damn, I have a lot. Woo! You can change the map coordination of where you are right now. You can change your streaks on the battle tree. Although I didn't change it. These are actual streaks that I actually worked hard for. Um, unlocking the different modes there. 
miscellaneous you got the skin color total thumbs up from the poker finder um festival plaza name the crib <laughs> unlock mega Lush mega Lushions, unlock z moves and all the stamps here i actually worked hard for all these stamps so i'm not going to change anything there in terms of ultra sun and moon there's also surf scores from the mantine surfing and the rotom name as well so that's pretty much a good amount of stuff you can change there items you can change what kind of items you have in each of your um pockets you want ability capsules all you got to do is just click on the free and the new and that's it all i gotta do is click on the free 900 900 you can change it or you change the numbers here so full heal i want to have like 16 boom i have 16 there you go simple um you can change your this is the medicine pocket this is the items and then hmtms obviously if you collect all the tms it's pretty much useless you don't need to change any of this um berries you have key items obviously key items are going to be one of each so don't don't change it um z crystals i have all the z crystals through my hard work i'm not going to change it obviously for obvious reasons and then battle items such as the rotom um power-ups you can just leave those alone since you don't really need 99 of those stuff unless you're like trying to catch pokemon that's pretty much it uh box layout you can change your box layout how the way it is for example let's say i have a box here that i should rename here uh, let's see here where is it oh uh, i don't remember exactly where it is but you can change the name of the box you can change what kind of uh, background it is simple man it's pretty simple stuff here mystery gift now mystery gift is where you can actually you know inject um pokemon that you have not received yet and the cool thing about this is that you can see like in the boxes it's kind of shaded out but you can see the different types of mystery events that i already have collected and actual events and i still have a top of any ready to be reset it for nature and you can just inject that into your game all that stuff pretty cool stuff right um all the numbers here and what you can do here i believe no, it's not here but there's another way you can get uh, multiple events and i'm going to show you guys that in a little bit so i'm going to go cancel here event flags basically event flags are specific sequences or events in the game which you unlock as you play the game. For example, you receive the Aerodactyl from <clears throat> one location in Pokemon Sun, I believe it's on Pony Island. And once you do receive that Aerodactyl, it's gonna check you off. And be careful guys here, because it says here, altering fla event flags may impact other story events. S save file backups are recommended. So b best if you don't touch this, because it will alter your game and it will mess up your game beyond, beyond relief. So don't do that. Constants are basically the legendary Pokemon that you caught or all the totem size Pokemon you received. Research, um, just leave it alone. Just don't touch that there. All right, next up we have our Pokedex. You can change your Pokedex, what you've seen, what you've collected. Simple as that. Hall of Fame, you guys know what that. Poke Beans, you can alter that number as well. Cells and stickers, pretty simple stuff. Um, you can also and put these Pokemon in your party box. You can also look at the Pokemon that's in your daycare, in the GTS, what's been fused and what's not. The only two Pokemon that can be possibly fused are Zekrom and Reshiram, and the other two are Sogaleo and Lunala. Remember, you can only have one fused Pokemon, one fused of each type per game. And so this is save as well. You can save box data. I would just not touch this since, um, don't really need it. So now, the other big thing about this is checking your Pokemon's legality. So with Pika Hex, you have the ability to check what, what's wrong with the Pokemon. And I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, that's not a good example. Oh, it's Palkia. So Palkia, the reason why this is wrong is because first of all, it's encounter PID is a mismatch. So when there's an error and you wanna like find out what's wrong with it you just gotta look into the section of where it, that comes from so PID I believe is let's see here PID. it most likely it's gonna be here and um, 
trying to type nature mismatch so nature is what is wrong with the nature so you can re-roll if you want to now it tells you okay well the encounter type is not correct i wonder why hard gold pokemon transfer so um the reason why this palkia might not be right is because of the pokemon transfer and it's not rec it's not uh really a mon that you can get from Pokemon Transfer because of Heal Block, and Heal Block is the only transfer move from it. So there, there are different um, issues with the legality checks, and this could be wrong. But at the same time, um, the game when you play it in Generation Seven, it's not really gonna show it. You know, um, let's say this Groudon, for example, here. What's wrong with this Groudon? I say it has the same problem as well. Uh, and um, oh, Quillfish, like even though Quillfish can learn Swords Dance in third generation. It can't learn it on any generation above uh, beyond that. So it has invalid ribbons, so you can take off the ribbons. Gender mismatch, so you can just pretty much um, re-roll this, and boom, you already got rid of one error. Ribbons, you can just go into the ribbon section here, and you can just get rid of all these ribbons here. Simple as that. Like, I can remove all of them. I'm gonna save, right? So now it comes down to an invalid move. Now, Swords Dance. And so the thing with PK Hex is that it cannot recognize transfer moves. Therefore, you cannot put transfer moves on specific Pokemon. For example, Quillfish can only learn Swords Dance in 3rd generation, but not in 4th, 5th, 6th, or 7th. Um, so that's when the game doesn't allow you to move, put transfer moves on Pokemon, or PKX I should say. And you can basically do this to any single Pokemon you want. You can put in a good Pokemon here and you can change its stats and all that as long as it's legal. It's perfectly fine. You'll be perfectly fine. Um, like Empoleon, for example, I think it's because of default. Um, nature mismatch. So you can reroll, and boom! I just made it legal. Woo! That's all it takes. PDA, PID is the personal identification for the Pokemon. Just change it right there, and voila! That's it. Mostly the errors from PID are because of shiny. They were made shiny, and somebody forgot to change its personal identification. So. There you go, and that's pretty much it. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do you uh, get mystery po mystery gift Pokemon, mystery event Pokemon from different uh, games and inject them into the game? Sun and Moon. I'll show you guys real quick. First, I'm gonna go into a box that doesn't have much. Okay, here you go. So now, you can also inject mystery gift Pokemon in there as well. So you go into your tools, you go into data, you go into your mystery gift database, and it shows you literally a database of every single event that has ever happened in the history of Pokemon. I'm scrolling through it right now. I am third generation right now. There's a lot of events out there. Some of them come as eggs, some of them come as items, some of them come as just pure Pokemon themselves. And look at that, Woo! My goodness. Now you might be wondering, well, why is there multiple of Zeroras? Well, the thing is with Zeroras, and other Pokemon like that is because mystery gift events come in multiple languages. So you can literally click every single one of these. It's the same Pokemon, but it might be because of different um, different languages. And so what you can do here is you can actually, I'm going all the way to the top. You can actually check or you can filter out what kind of Pokemon you want. So say you want the shiny Entei from fifth generation. And you don't want to scroll all the way down, even though you just saw the Entei scroll down as I was passing by. So you can look at any species. So you type in Entei. I'm going to go in and say, I'm going to search. And there you go. Voila. I just narrowed my search down to an Entei. And shiny, you can click on whether it's a shiny or came from an egg. Obviously, Entei did never came from an egg. But you can click off shiny as well. And search. And it uh, flushes out the shinies. But I would prefer shiny because I'm a boss like that. There you go. You click Chinese only. Both. Voila. Uh, you can check any moves as well. So let's say, hey, I wanted to know uh, or Sacred Fire. And Extreme Speed, of course. No results. Because none of them can learn at the same time. So I'm going to go Extreme Speed. Nope. Sacred Fire. I'm going to go Extreme Speed here as well. No results found. Okay. Interesting. I actually, I actually thought it would be important. I think it has to be in a specific order. But anyways, you saw how it works. And you search, and voila! Now, you can hover over each Entei here. 
I believe. And what you can do here is, let's see, you can, let's see here, I'm, I remember how to do this, but let me see. Oh, there you go. So you view it, you right click on it, with your right click button of your mouse. And let's say you want the shiny and save from fifth generation. Right click, you put view. And voila. And once you get you can get out of this and boom the Entei is in the tool shop ready to be sent into your game so you can look through each um, detail of the Entei card gold a met from the Zoroark event um, cherish ball level 30 all that cool stuff it's you can change the stats obviously I don't recommend doing that it has flare blitz and extreme speed and it has this OT of win 2011 from the events and once once that's done all you gotta do is just drag it and boom you are done done now i'm going to show you another one just so you guys got the idea of how this works so i'm going to go into the mystery gift database you can go into the encounter database but i don't recommend doing that you don't do it yet uh mystery gift database so let's say you want the shiny rayquaza that knows uh oh let's say you want the rayquaza that knows v create so i'm going to go into rayquaza here and a search uh i believe the shiny, um, I believe the Rayquaza event that knows recreate is not shiny, so it narrows down to these two right here. So, what you can do here is view and you get out of here and you look into what kind of Rayquaza this is bold, whatever generated diamond. So, it's not definitely diamond because the only generation where it can learn recreate is from generation five. So, view here, go into here, and we get out of here, and voila, this is the Rayquaza that knows recreate. Awesome. And you can change the stats and once you do, you just drag it out here and boom, that's it. That's so simple. Um, a lot simpler than power save since power save requires very tedious times and you can do all the stuff you wanna do in one city. So that is pretty much it. And then one last thing, once you are done, all you have to do is export your save. You don't save your PKM, you export your save file, you export your main, once you do that, the main is basically what comes from your 3DS. I named it as hello as my save file in the 3DS um, using um, the save manager. And I have, you can change the name, whatever you want. And then I save it. It already exists because it already has been created. You want to replace it? And yes. And there you go. Uh, it's been saved into your save file for Ultra Sun. And that is it. Simple as that. I hope that was a very uh, informative way. So, like I said, before you start PK Hex, you need to first have a couple things. You need to have Windows. I can't really tell you if there's any way for Mac because I've had Mac for as long as I can possibly remember and I never had the ability to generate, but I can only power save on there. Uh, another thing is that, like I said in the beginning of the video, you need to have a... Um, <clears throat> custom form firmware and this works for the switch and it works for 3ds and like I said for 3ds I will implement the tutorial right in the description of my channel so check that guys out if you want to learn how to PK hex as for switch like I said I can't really show you that since YouTube has been very picky about that so anyways that is pretty much it and you can see like I created some Pokemon but some of them have some huh, legality issues you know all that but they can still be used in battle but as long as they're like checked out with the green uh, check that's it you're pretty much good to go but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching it's your boy franklin and i'm signing out peace